Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us see what is geometric growth rate. So here both the daughter cells will continue to divide. So in this case, the growth would be faster because there only one daughter cell was dividing to form new cells. But here both will divide to form new cells. So the number of cells formed will be more and that is why the growth rate will also be more. So it would be something like this. If you start with two cells, each of them would divide. So this divided. So if you see here, this cell divided to form these two and this cell divided to form these two. Now again, each of these four daughter cells will divide. So this will form these two. Again, this will form these two. This will form these two and this will form these two, right? And now if you see, there are eight cells which are formed and each of them will divide further to form more cells. So maybe this will form two, this will form two, this will form two, this will form two. So how many cells will be formed? 16 cells will be formed and again each of them will divide further to form two two cells each. So just see how many number of cells are being produced in this case. So as is very clear the number of cells produced here is huge. In a very short period of time huge number of cells will be produced therefore the growth rate in case of geometric growth rate is very very fast. However, when you actually look at the growth curve, we will plot the growth curve in case of geometric growth also. You will see that the initial growth is slow when compared to the later growth and it's, which is followed by a rapid growth. So rapid growth is very evident here. Now why is the initial growth slow? Because initially you just have less number of cells, right? So that is why the growth is comparatively lesser. But as the number of cells increases, the growth also increases that ways right so initial growth would be slow but later there would be rapid growth however again after quite some time due to limited nutrient supply the growth rate will slow down I and mean, the growth will become almost stagnant with time so initially it will just start the process so the initial growth will be slow later it will become very very fast it will remain very fast for some time and then again it will reach a stage where there is not much of nutrient because see for each of the cell to divide they all need energy now if they are like getting divided in this fashion just see how many cells have been formed just in two three steps so now when so many cells have been formed all of them need that much of energy as well correct so sometimes energy is not sufficient. It's the amount of energy which is available is not sufficient. So when that condition comes into picture, the growth rate will become stagnant. So it will not grow any further. So where do we see this kind of growth rate? The geometric growth rate is shown by most of the cells, tissues and organs. Most of them divide by geometric growth rate. So now we will try to plot the graph of geometric growth rate. Now, if you plot the graph of a geometric growth rate, this is how it looks like. So this is how the graph would look like if you take time along the x-axis and uh, the growth along y-axis. So whichever parameter you take on your y-axis, Say, let us suppose the size, growth in terms of size. So what happens as time increases, initially the growth is like less. So this phase, the first phase is known as the lag phase. So this is the lag phase where the growth is like, it is increasing but it is quite slow. The growth rate is very slow. So this lag phase, the term lag means something which is lagging behind. So this represents the slow initial growth so this lag phase is followed by the exponential phase and this is the exponential phase so if you see in this phase the growth increases very fast with time right so this exponential phase will actually see rapid growth this phase is also known as 
log phase. Now, why is it called exponential? Because the growth happens exponentially. So it happens very, very fast. And this in turn is followed by the stationary phase. And this is the stationary phase. So this is that phase when I said, no, you, the cell actually end up having lack of, new, uh, lack of nutrients. And due to limited nutrient supply, the growth rate will become stagnant. It will not increase any further. So these are the three prominent phases of the uh, geometric growth rate curve and this curve is known as the sigmoid curve. Sigmoid curve or often it is known as the S curve. Like how in case of uh, arithmetic growth rate you have the linear curve. Similarly here you have the sigmoid curve or the S curve. So this is how we can represent the uh, geometric growth rate graphically. Now this curve is often known as the growth curve. It is also called growth curve. The sigmoid curve is the most common growth curve. That is because most of the cells, tissues and organs, they divide by geometric growth rate. So geometric growth rate is more common than arithmetic growth rate in plants. So let us see geometric growth rate mathematically. As I said, here the growth happens exponentially. So therefore it is represented as W1 is equal to W0 e to the power RT, where W1, W represents the size. So this is how it looked like, right? So this represents size at time T is equal to T. So this would be WT is equal to W0. So this is the initial size or you can say size at time t is equal to 0. e to the power RT. So R is again the rate of growth or the growth rate. So this is growth rate and t is the time. Right? And what is this e? e is nothing but the base of the natural logarithm. That is why we say exponentially. So that is how we represent. So here you can see how fast this will increase. Now as the value of uh, the time changes, so it will vary actually, the WT will actually vary e to the power something. So which is going to be a very big value. That multiplied by the initial size. So the growth is very very fast in case of geometric growth rate. Now this is known as geometric growth rate because it is it is like uh, the geometric progression. In geometric progression, the series used to be something like this. You have 3, then you have 6, then you have 9. So geometric progression would be something like this. 3, 6, then 12, then you have 24, then you have 48, then you have 96. So this is an example of geometric progression. Why? Because this divided by this is 2. Again, this divided by this is 2. So every time whatever is formed is doubled here. So 3 into 2 is 6, 6 into 2 is 12, 12 into 2 is 24, 24 into 2 is 48. So here this by this, so everything at each step it get multiplied. So that is why the value increases very fast in a geometric progression. And that is why it is known as a geometric growth rate. Right. So now that we have discussed about both the types of growth rate, arithmetic and geometric, we have come across a term growth rate, this R. Correct. So R is defined as a growth rate. Now let us discuss some very important points about this growth rate. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.